All right. Welcome back. I've been working on some soda can drawings in the other class, and we're trying to um, do some line drawings and then work with different mediums with graphite pencils, markers, and see where we can go from there. So, first thing I want to do is just to fill in a, a ground with a 6D pencil, and then we'll do our line drawing over the ground. So, we'll do that first. And we'll do a contour line drawing of all the parts that we see, starting with the oval at the top of the can, and kind of work our way down from there. Try to get all the lines that you see, some in between the highlights and the shadows, your outline, maybe the, the subdivision between the colors, and some of the lettering. Need to make it a little smaller. So you can see the curve at the top and the curve at the bottom doesn't match, so I need to redo the curve at the bottom. Okay, so I'll clean that up and I'll dust it with uh, some 6B graphite on paper towel or cloth. will work. Alright, so the next thing, uh, I'll pencil in some of the, the darker values in there. Kind of build up with a 4B pencil here. And then go to a 6B pencil. And then an 8B pencil. And blend it with your blending stick or a tool. What I'm going to be doing is drawing with my eraser, so I'm going to erase the Coca Cola signia in there and some of the lettering. So I can do that and do the reflections right on the graphite, and uh, it saves me from outlining every letter twice. It saves a lot of time. Put in some of your reflections and the creases in the can. So next, this is the fun part, doing the penciling in. And make sure you use a cover sheet so you don't smear your drawing. cool line work in there. You can pick up on some of the outlines, some of the darker values. You can build those up even more now. You're in the black part of the can. Going over some of the lettering. Some 
says zero sugar. Zero sugar. So next thing we're going to try to do is add color. Okay. Of course, can's black and red, so I'm limited on my choice of colors, but go with black and red. So I'm going to lay out with a pen color pencil first, work the edges around the lettering. Try to pick up on some of the uh, the finer letters at the bottom of the can. That's always a challenge. So you can see the color pencil over the graphite. We'll lay over it, um, and uh, but you don't get the true color red as you would on the white paper. So we're going to add markers. This will definitely saturate the paper. No turning back once you add markers. color pencil and lighten in the, the uh, it's almost a pink area. Oops, almost filled in that bottom of the uh, C for the coat. And then I'm going to try the black. It's these sergeant markers from school. Let's get some pretty good stuff for the uh, school supplies we use. Okay, now we're going to crush a can. Let's do another drawing. And we're going to do one with more creases in it. Alright, let's take a kind of a, the same of beginning. We'll dust the background. And uh, put the ground down, but this time we are going to draw with our eraser. Get this kind of a abstract negative effect. The neat thing with the drawing with the eraser, you can dust over it, you put graphite over it, and you can start right over again. You don't have too many pencil lines to deal with. Nothing's really permanent. And I'm gonna fast forward through most of this. some of the where the lettering is going to be at the bottom maybe some of the letters but you can't see much when the can's crushed so it starts to make things a little more difficult Those things don't quite fit together and you really have to observe even more some markers again to the other one. Kind of fast forward through this. Fill in every 
anywhere but your highlights. Leave your white lettering white and your highlights and streaks white. Alright, then use your soft leaded pencil, sharpen them up really good because they're going to be really dark so you can add your really super dark values with your 6B to your 8B pencil. Some of you might even have a 9B pencil. what we can get with just a pencil on this part, this one. Yeah, let's not use the black marker on this one. We'll compare them at the end. Alright, clean up your edges real good. Erase any of your highlights with your eraser. Any stray pencil marks, get those out of the way. Could do a few little quasars in there. Some back background lighting. Tone it back down. Try to edge this out a little bit. Bottom. Let's bring the other edge out. Ground it a little bit more. Yeah. in some of your details, use some hatching lines in there. Okay, make it look like a pencil drawing. Alright, pencil drawings are cool. Differences here. So we have the black marker on the left and the 8B pencil on the right. They're very close. Very close. close Use a soap eraser to erase highlights. Have a great day.